Have you ever wanted to look for gold, but one of the things stopping you was either your budget or your lack of mining equipment? Well, stick around and I'll show you just how to find gold with no mining equipment at all. These will work perfect. That's a nice story. I'm a genius. <laughs> Our kit today cost uh, twelve dollars and eighty-four cents. Let's see if we can find more gold than that. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. So today I'm going to teach you how to find gold using household items to prove you do not need conventional mining equipment to find gold, nor to even get outside to start looking. Let's go. So I chose this location because it's going to be raining off and on and I don't want the equipment to get wet so we're under this bridge. Also, some of you may recognize this location from the last time I was out with Kitty. It's a good place. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who are new to panning, let me explain something fairly important. So gold, like any other metal, is heavy and it's going to drop till it stops. So what do you do about the gold inside of the dirt? Well, you gotta separate it. So this is where gold panning is very important. You'd put the dirt in the pan, you would add the water, mix up the dirt, making sure everything is wet, and try to shake it into a corner, and then let the water take the top layer off, which is the light stuff. You would rinse and repeat that process till you finally do what's called the washback and expose any heavy materials at the bottom. Now there are different ways you can pan, but I'll cover that on another video. But for now, we're gonna use nothing more than what we bought at the store. That rhyme! Okay, so we have a few different options. We have a wok, a steel bowl, um, a creviser, but I, I mean, I got a, okay, perfect. We have a creviser, two very important spoons, and then we even have a classifier. Now, I don't think these holes are big enough for what we're gonna be looking for, so we're gonna have to poke a few holes in here. I don't expect to find anything big, but in the off chance we do find something big, we don't want to uh, end up throwing that away. Need more holes. All right, so 10 years later, we finally have enough holes for our finished classifier. Now all that's left is to uh, go and look for some gold. Bucket needs to be super straight. Now I tried to find like a kitchen supply that resembles a shovel, but that's really hard to do. So I just, I'm using a shovel. So the idea here is just to classify all the material we can, fill up the bucket as much as we can, and then uh, start using the wok or this pretty bowl here. 100% this will work. <laughs> now, there's a few reasons why I chose this spot in particular, and we have a lot of places to work, but I chose here. From what I remember, this spot wasn't exposed the last time I was here. It was just covered in grass. Somebody did the work for me and kind of opened it up. And from what I'm experiencing while digging is that all this is still packed material and the dirt is still very dark and sticky, which tells me that, again, nobody has dug here before, but we'll, we're gonna find out. <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like he's got an idea. So if I learned anything from gold prospecting, this is relevant because gold is heavy and water from high heights is also heavy, which means more gold.
that boy is easily distracted. Hey, hold on, I got a water bottle. Can you grab that? I need that. So our bucket is about 30% full. So I think it's time for our first pan, our, our first walk. What I'm gonna do to make our results a bit more concentrated is I'm gonna walk this down till the concentrates are pretty low and then I'm gonna keep filling the bucket until we're done the bucket and then we're gonna do a final walk to see the results. So just like using any gold pan, what you wanna do is the same, the exact same as these. You mix up the material, make sure there's no dry clumps or anything like that. Swirl it. Now this wok doesn't have any riffles. Poor design. But that shouldn't matter because we're gonna be very careful. You just want the water to take the top layer off. So what I'm imagining is that whenever I'm shaking it, I'm just trying to keep in mind that I want everything heavy to sit right at the bottom corner right there. Our second fill up. You always want to make sure the bucket is completely clean because gold is again very heavy and it will most likely be the last thing that you dump out. Hello? Right there. Look at that. So we have a piece of gold right at the top. That's awesome. Now, even if I didn't find any gold in this whole process, it doesn't mean that it's a failure. A, there's no gold in that spot, or B, <gasps> you can find garnets in this creek too. I haven't found anything big, but I'm gonna keep my eye open for them. I thought this would be a walk in the park. <laughs> so you can see black sand too. So that's an indicator that we are getting close. All right, any minute now will be the moment of tooth. I hope we didn't lose, <laughs> we lose the other piece. Okay. Here we go. See, we're having, oh, ooh, look, oh, look at that one. That's a nice, that's actually a super nice one. That's round. I can see the black ironstone, black sand. We have a little garnet right there. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Okay, good. We have... We didn't lose that piece, that's good. But look at all that black sand. So this is actually an exceptional result. I honestly was not expecting to find anything chunky like this, but, but what is actually concerning is there should be a lot more flower gold in here. So either there's no flower gold where I was digging or this thing is blowing it right out. I'm gonna do another test closer to the water to see if we can capture actually the fine gold. Okay. So I'm just taking a couple minute break. I need to learn how to just stop and take a moment for myself, look around me, check out the beauty. That is clay. This is awesome. This is a good place to be. All right, so second bucket done. It's a little bit more full than our last one, so hopefully this will have a better result. I mean, let's be honest, the first result was actually pretty good, but hopefully better. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's some real thick stuff. Boy, that bucket, thick. I'm gonna pan a little bit more carefully in the off chance that we are losing super fine gold. I doubt it because I'm a professional, but you never know. Yeah, 
add some more material. This is boring. Um, uh... So we are getting closer to our number two moment of tooth. I haven't seen any gold yet, but that doesn't mean it's not there. It's very time consuming this walk. All right, let's see. Walkie talkie. Yeah, lots of black sand. I can see some garnets. Is there gold? Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> All right. Already more fine gold than before. Perfect. That's what we want. That is awesome. So there you have it. Absolute proof you do not need conventional mining tools to go out and find some gold. In your face, conventional tools. Now I'm going to suck this up and then bury my holes and let's go back to the house and I'll show you what we found a little closer. All right, back in the blue room. So just to make things clear, using kitchen supplies isn't the most effective way to capture gold. There's a reason why gold pans have riffles in them. But if you're ever in a pinch and don't have access to conventional mining equipment, don't be afraid to get creative. Hashtag no excuses. All right, so after cleaning all the candy from the black sand, here is our take. Not tea bag. Would I have found more gold using a regular gold pan? Probably. Now we're gonna weigh this gold. I have you on a gimbal right now, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. So, did we make more than what we spent? $5,000. Ignore the little bit of black sand in there. 0.23 grams. Cool. So, 0.23 grams of gold is roughly 11 to $14. I think it's safe to say. We broke even. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the near future. So please don't hesitate to show your love and hit that subscribe button as it's absolutely free. And if you're interested to see behind the scenes footage, I also have a Facebook and Instagram open for your pleasure. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen with logo. Gold is heavy and water from high heights is also heavy, which means more gold.